हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक एग्रीकल्चर जीके पार्ट टू इन दिस पार्ट वी विल कवर द इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर स्टेटस इंटरनेशनल एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस नेशनल रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर ब्यूरोज मेजर डैम्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड एग्रीकल्चर इंस्टीट्यूशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्स्ट वी विल गो थ्रो इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर स्टेटस इंडिया रैंक्स सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वाइड इन फार्म आउटपुट बिकॉज मेजर पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज इंगेज विथ फार्मिंग एंड हैविंग द एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटी टोटल जियोग्राफिकल एरिया ऑफ आवर कंट्री इज अराउंड थ्री ट्वेंटी एट मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स आउट ऑफ विच नेट सोन एरिया इज वन फोर्टी टू मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स विच कंप्राइज इज फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ जियोग्राफिकल एरिया The gross cropped area is around 209 million hectares out of which the irrigated area is only 68 million hectares which is 35% of cultivable land 55% population is engaged in agriculture and they are having major contribution for the production of rice which is the main edible food of our country the production of rice is around 117 million tons followed by second crop wheat where the production is recorded 106 million tons the core cereal production is 45 million tons and this core cereal consists of maize sorghum millets and foxtail millets and other millets and pulses are having the production of 23 million tons where the major contribution is from gram pigeon pea green gram and black gram crops in case of oil seed india is having the total production of 31 million tons tons and major contributory crops are groundnut mustard soybean etc now we will study about international agricultural organizations first one is cimit International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, which is having the headquarters at Mexico, and it was established in 1943. In Spanish, CIMIT stands for Centro Internacional de Mejoramiento de Maize y Trigo. This is a non-profit research for development organization that develops improved varieties of wheat and maize, with the aim of contributing to food security. and innovates agricultural practices to help boost production prevent crop diseases and improve a small holders farmers livelihoods second is fao food and agriculture organizations which is having headquarters at rome italy and it was established in 1945 the food and agriculture organization of the united nations is a specialized agency of the united nations that leads international efforts to defeat hunger and improve nutrition and food security third one is cip international potato center the international po international potato center was founded in 1971 and it is having the headquarters at peru this is a research organization for development focusing on potato sweet potato and indian roots and tuber crops Fourth one is CIET, National Center for Tropical Agriculture, having headquarters at Colombia, and this organization was established in 1969. The International Center for Tropical Agriculture is a non-profit research and development organization dedicated to reducing poverty and hunger while protecting natural resources in developing countries. Fifth one is ICRISET, International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, having headquarters in Hyderabad, India, and this organization was established in 1972. The International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics is an international organization which conducts agriculture research for rural development, having headquarters at Patancheru, Hyderabad, and having several regions regional centers and research stations 
the objective is to minimize land degradation and improve food security and livelihood opportunities for rural people in rain-fed areas now sixth one is ikarda international center for agriculture research dry areas it is having the headquarter at syria and it was established on 1977 this is a non profit agriculture research institute that aims to improve the livelihood of the resource poor across the world dry areas by enhancing food security and eradicating poverty through research and partnership to increase productivity and income seventh institute is iita international institute for tropical agriculture having headquarters at nigeria and this institute was established on 1967 the international institute of tropical agriculture is a non profit institution that generates agriculture innovations to meet africa's most pressing challenges of hunger malnutrition poverty and natural resource degradation working with various partners across sub saharan africa having aim to improve livelihoods enhance food and nutritional security increase employment and preserve natural resource integrity eighth institute is irri iri international rice research institute having headquarters at philippines manila and this institute was formed on 1960 It is dedicated to abolishing poverty and hunger among people and populations that depend on rice-based agri-food systems. Ninth organization is CGIAR, Consultative Group on International Agriculture Research, which having centers with different headquarters, and it was formed in 1971. It is having the objective. to attempt to ensure maximum complementarity of international and regional efforts with national efforts in financing and undertaking agriculture in the future 10th institute is c4 the center for international forestry research which is having the headquarters at indonesia and this Research center was formed on 1993. C4 is a scientific research organization that conducts research on the use and management of forests, with a focus on tropical forest in developing countries. Eleventh organization is IFPRI, which is having the full form of International Food Policy Research Institute. having headquarters in usa and it was formed on 1975 the aim is to improve the understanding of national agricultural and food policies to promote the adoption of innovations in agricultural technology and to enhance food security reduce poverty and improve environmental sustainability under global change 12th institute is ILRI National Livestock Research Institute having headquarters at Kenya and this institute was established on 1994 it focus its research on building sustainable livestock pathways out of poverty in low income countries International Livestock Research Institute works with the partners worldwide to help poor people keep their farm animals alive and productive increase and sustain their livestock and farm productivity and find profitable markets for their animal products 13th organization is IWMI International Water Management Institute which is having headquarters at Sri Lanka and this institute was established in 1985 IWMI research on water management in agriculture irrigation groundwater river basins wetlands ecosystems food security wastewater and climate change research at the institute 
focuses on improving how water and land resources are managed with the aim of underpinning underpinning food security and reducing poverty while safeguarding vital environmental processes 14th organization is ICLARM International Center for Living Aquatic Resource Management having headquarters at Manila Philippines and it was formed on 1977 it focuses on conducting long term coordinated research on the principal fisheries problems in the developing world 15th institute is international irrigation management institute iimi which is having the headquarters at colombo sri lanka and this institution was formed in 95 the research on water management in agriculture irrigation groundwater river basins wetlands ecosystems food security wastewater and climate change research is the institute focuses on improving how water and land resources managed with the aim of underpinning food security and reducing poverty while safeguarding vital environmental processes 16th is INI BAP International Network for the Improvement of Bananas and Plantation Crops having headquarter having headquarters at Montpellier France and this international center was formed in 1985 the mission of the international network for the improvement of bananas and plantation crop is to sustainably increase the productivity of banana and plantation grown on a small holding for domestic consumption and for local and export markets 17th organization is ipgri international plant genetic resource institute having headquarters at rome italy this international organization was established in 1974 this is an independent international scientific organization that seeks to advance the conservation and use of plant genetic diversity for the well-being of present and future generations 18th organization is ISNAR International Service for National Agriculture Research having the headquarters at the Hague the Netherlands and this international research center was formed in 1979 the, the mandate of ISNAR is to strengthen national agriculture research in developing countries to bring about sustained improvements in the performance of their national agriculture research system and organizations ISNAR responded to request for assistance from developing countries and specializes in public sector agriculture research 19th organization is WARDA West Africa Rice Development Association which is having the headquarters at Abidjan and it was formed in 1971 The mission is to strengthen West Africa capability in rice production, science, technology and socio-economics through research, training and communications activities. Now here we will study National Agriculture Research Organizations, their location and year of establishment, which are working very very important role for the agriculture development in our country. First one is Central Arid Zone Research Institute which is known as CAZRI which is having the headquarters at Jodhpur Rajasthan and this institute was established in 1952 Second is Central Food Technological Research Institute CFTRI which is having the headquarters at Mysore Karnataka and this this institute was established in 1950 Third is Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute CIFRI which is having the headquarters at Barakpur West Bengal and it was established in 1947 fourth is Central Institute of Cotton Research CICR CR which is having the headquarters at Nagpur Maharashtra and it was established in 
फिफ्थ वन इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर रिसर्च ऑन गोड्स सी आई आर जी हैविंग हेडक्वार्टर एट मखदूम उत्तर प्रदेश एंड इट वॉज लिस्ट इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन सिक्स वन इज सेंट्रल प्लांटेशन क्रॉप रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट सी पी सी आर आई विच इज हैविंग द हेडक्वार्टर इन कासरगोड केरला एंड दिस इंस्टीट्यूट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन सेवन्थ इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग सी भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश विथ स्टार्टिंग इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स एट्थ इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर ब्रिकिश वाटर एक्वाकल्चर सी आई बी एविंग सेंटर एट चेन्नई तमिलनाडु एंड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन नाइन्थ इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फ्रेश फ्रेश वाटर एक्वाकल्चर सी आई एफ एविंग हेड सेंटर एट भुवनेश्वर उड़ीसा एंड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन टेंथ इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑन फिशरीज एजुकेशन सी आई एफ ई विथ हेड सेंटर एट मुंबई महाराष्ट्र एंड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन इलेवंथ इज सेंट्रल आइजलैंड एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट सी आई ए आर आई हैविंग द लोकेशन एट पोर्ट ब्लेयर अंदमान एंड निकोबार एंड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट ट्वेल्थ इज सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर रिसर्च ऑन बुफेलॉज सी आई आर बी हैविंग द लोकेशन हेड क्वार्टर एट हिसार हरियाणा एंड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन एटी for arid horticulture CIAH having the headquarters in Bikaner Rajasthan this central institute was started in 1993 14th is central institute of fisheries technology CIFT having location headquarters at Cochin Kerala and it was started in 1957 15th is central institute of research on cotton cotton technology CIRCT Mumbai Maharashtra which was initiated in 1924 16th is Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture CISTH having headquarters at Lucknow Uttar Pradesh which was started in 1972 17th is Central Institute of Temperate Horticulture CITH having headquarters at Srinagar Jammu and Kashmir and it was initiated in 1991 18th is central institute on post harvest engineering and technology cipht having headquarters at ludhiana punjab and this center was started working on 1989 19th is central marine fisheries research institute cmfri having headquarters at kochi kerala and it was started in 1947 20th is Central Potato Research Institute CPRI having the head center at Simla Himachal Pradesh and it was started in 1935 21st is Central Research Institute for Jute and Allied Fibers CRI JAF having head at Barakpur West Bengal and it was established in 1953 22nd Central Research Institute of Dryland Agriculture Krida C R I D A having headquarters at Hyderabad Telangana and it was started in 1985 23rd is Central Central Sheep and Wool Research Institute C S W R I having headquarters at Avikanagar Rajasthan and it started functioning on 1974 24th is Central Institute for Research on Cattle C I R C having the location headquarters at Meerut Uttar Pradesh and it was established in 1987 25th research center is central soil salinity research institute cssri having headquarters at karnal haryana and it was established in 1969 26th institute is central tobacco research institute ctri having headquarters at rajamundri andhra pradesh and it was established in 1947 27th is central tuber crop research institute ctcri having headquarters at trivandrum kerala and it was started in 
28th research center is Central Coastal Agriculture Research Institute, CCARI, having headquarters at Goa, and it was started in 1976. 29th is Central Agroforestry Research Institute, CARI, having headquarters at Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh, and it was established on 1988. 30th is Central Institute for Women in Agriculture, CIWA, having location head office at Bhuvaneswar, Odisha, and it was started in 1996. 31st is Central Citrus Research Institute, CCRI, having headquarters at Nagpur, Maharashtra, 1985. 30, 32 Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICAR, which is having the headquarters New Delhi, and it was started in 1929. 33 Indian Agriculture Research Institute, IARI, having headquarters at New Delhi, and it was started functioning on 1905. 34th is Indian Agriculture Statistics Research Institute, IASRI, having headquarters at New Delhi, and it was established in 1978. 35th Indian Institute of Forest Management, IIFM, having headquarters at Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, and it was established in 1982. Veterinary Research Institute, IVRI, having headquarters at Ajatnagar, Uttar Pradesh, and it was established in 1889. 37th is Indian Avian Research Institute, IVRI, having headquarters at Ajatnagar, Uttar Pradesh, and it was started in 1979. 38th is Indian Institute of Soil and Water Conservation, CISWC, having headquarters at Dehradun, Uttarakhand, and it was started in 1974. 39th is Indian Grassland and Fodder Research Institute, FRI, having head office at Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh, and it was established in 1962. 40th is Indian Institute of Agriculture Biotechnology, IIAB, having head office at Ranchi, Jharkhand, and it was established in 2014. Now, 41, Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, IIHR, having headquarters at Bangalore, Karnataka, and it was started in 1967. 42, Indian Institute of Natural Regions and Gums, IINRG, having location headquarters at Jharkhand, and it was started in 1924. 43. Indian Institute of Pulses Research, IIPR, having national research headquarters at Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, and it was started in 1983. 44. Indian Institute of Soil Sciences, IISS, having headquarters at Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, and it was started in 1988. 45th is Indian Institute of Spices Research, IISR, which is having the head of its state, Kojikot, Kerala, and it was started in 1995. 46th is Indian Institute of Sugarcane Research, IISR, having location head of its state, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, and it was started functioning in 1952. 47th is Indian Institute of Vegetable Research, IIVR, having headquarters at Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, and it started functioning on 1999. 48th Indian Institute of Wheat and Barley Research, IIWBR, having headquarters at Karnal, Haryana, and it was established in 1935. 49th Indian Institute of Farming Systems Research, IIFSR, having head office at Modipuram, Merat, Uttar Pradesh, and it was started in 1968 and 50th Indian Institute of Millets Research IIMR having headquarters at Hyderabad, Telangana and it was started in 1958. Indian Institute of Oil Seeds Research IIOR having headquarters at Hyderabad, Telangana with establishment in 1967. Indian Institute of Oil Palm Research IIOPR having headquarters at Pedavegi, Elru in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. 
and it was started in 1995. Indian Institute of Water Management IIWM having location headquarters at Bhuvaneswar, Odisha and it was started in 1988. Indian Institute of Rice Research IIRR having location headquarters at Hyderabad, Telangana and establishment in 1965. Indian Institute of Seeds Research IISR having head office at Mau, Uttar Pradesh and it was started in 2004. Indian Institute of Major Research IIMR having location headquarters at New Delhi and it was established in 1957. National Academy of Agriculture Research Management NARM having headquarters at Hyderabad, Telangana and it was started in 1976. National Botanical Research Institute NBRI having head office at Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh with establishment in 1948. National Center for Agriculture Economics and Policy Research NCAP with headquarters at New Delhi started in 1991. National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management Manage having head office at Hyderabad, Telangana and it was started working in 1987. National Institute of Agriculture Marketing NIAM having head office at Jaipur, Rajasthan with establishment in 1988. National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources NBPGR having head office at New Delhi and it was started in 1976. National Dairy Research Institute NDRI having location head office at Karnal, Haryana and it was established in 1923. National Rice Research Institute NRRI having head office at Katak, Odisha and it was established in 1966. National Institute of Hydrology NIH with headquarter at Rudki, Uttarakhand and it was initiated in 1978. National Institute of Biotic Stress Management NIBSM having headquarters at Raipur, Chhattisgarh and it started functioning in 2009. National Institute of Abiotic Stress Management NIASM with head office at Malegaon, Maharashtra and it was started in 2009. National Institute of Animal Nutrition and Physiology NIANP with head office at Bangalore, Karnataka and it was started in 2012. National Institute of Natural Fiber Engineering and Technology NINAP having headquarters at Kolkata, West Bengal and it was established in 1938. National Institute of Veterinary Epidemiology and Disease Enforcement INNIVDI having headquarters at Bangalore, Karnataka and it was started in 2000. National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases NIHSD having location head office at Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. It started in 2014. National Institute of Agriculture, Economics and Policy Research NIAEPR having headquarters at New Delhi with establishment in 1991. National Institute for Plant Biotechnology NIPB with headquarters at New Delhi and it was started in 1985. Vivekananda Pravatiya Krishi Ansandhan Sanstan VPKS having Halmola Uttarakhand and it was started in 1936. Now to study National Agriculture Bureau. First one is National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources NBAGR having headquarters at Karnal, Haryana. NBAGR is working in the fields of animal and livestock development and resources and it is having the different works on divisions like Animal Genetic Resource Divisions, Animal Genetic Division, Animal Biotech Division, Livestock Information Management Unit and Network Projects related to animal genetic resources. Second is National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources NBPGR having headquarters at New Delhi. NBPGR played a pivotal role in the improvement of various crop plants and diversification and development of agriculture in India 
through germplasms. Third is National Bureau of Agriculturally Important Microorganisms NBAIMO having headquarters at Mau Uttar Pradesh and this is working on the beneficial microorganisms which are proven important role for the development of agriculture. Fourth is National Bureau of Agriculture Insect Resources NBAIR having headquarters at Bangalore, Karnataka. Fifth one is National Bureau of Soil Survey and Land Use Planning NBSSLUP having head office at Nagpur, Maharashtra and National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources NBFGR having headquarters at Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Now to study major dams of India. We have shown here the map of India locating major dams in various states. We will go through a state wise study. First state is Jammu and Kashmir where the first dam is Uri Dam. Uri Dam is constructed across Jhelum River in Uri, Uri in Baramula district and this dam is located near line of control on India and Pakistan border. Second is Bagli Har Dam which is built on Chenab River in Doda district. Third is Dumkhar Dam which is constructed on Indus River in Leh district. Second state is yes, where first dam is Bhakra Dam which is the third largest dam in India built on Satlaj River in Bilaspur. Second is Nathfa Jhakri Dam which is constructed on Satlaj River in Simla. Third is Marana Pratap Sagar Dam which is also known as Pong Dam Bias River in Kangra district. Fourth is Pando Dam which is constructed on Bias River in Mandi district. Fifth is Govind Sagar Dam which is constructed on Satlaj River in Bilaspur. And next is Chamera Dam which is built on Ravi River in Chamba district. Next state is Uttarakhand where first dam is Tihri Dam which is the highest dam in India constructed on Bhagirthi River in Tihri. Second is Ram Ganga Dam which is also called Kalagar Dam and this is constructed on Ram Ganga River in Padigadwal. Next state is Uttar Pradesh where there is presence of Rihand Dam which is the biggest dam in terms of volume. This dam is also called Govind Valla Pant Sagar Dam. This dam is located in Sonvandra district and constructed on Rihand River and constructed on Rihand River which is the tributary of Son River. Next is Arunachal Pradesh, Ranganadi Dam which is built on Ranganadi River. Next state is Jharkhand, first dam is Maithan Dam which is built on Burakar River in Dhanamachi, Chandil Dam which is built on Suvan Rekha River in Kharsawan district and the third one is Panchet Dam which is constructed on Damodar River in Dhanbad. Next state is Chhattisgarh where first dam is Dudhwa Dam which is built on Mahanad River in Dhamtari and second is Gangrel Dam which is also built on Mahanad River in Dhamtari district. Now a state of Odisha. First state is Hirakud Dam which is constructed on Mahanad River in Sambalpur and Hirakud Dam is the India's largest dam. Dhra Dam which is built on Sankh River in Sundargarh district. Next one is Rengali Dam which is constructed on Brahmani River in Rangali village in Angul district. Next is Indravati Dam which is, which is built across Indravati River in Bhavani Patna. This Indravati River is the tributary of Godavari. Next state is Telangana where first dam is Sri Ram Sagar Dam which is built across Godavari River in Nizamabad district. Second is Second is Nizam Sagar Dam which is constructed across Manjira River in Kamredi district and this Nizam Sagar Dam is the oldest dam of Telangana. Next is Priyadarsini Jurala project which is in Gadwal district on Korapur Chhatra River. Next state is Andhra Pradesh where the first dam is Nagarjun Sagar Dam which is built across Krishna River 
and it is located on the border of Guntur and Nalgonda district. Second is Sri Sailam Dam, which is constructed across Krishna River in Karnul district. And next one is Somsila Dam, which is on Penna River in Somsila in Nellore district. Next state, Tamil Nadu, where first dam is Metru Dam, which is built on Kaveri River in Salem district. Second is Bhavani Sagar Dam, which is built across Bhavani River in Bhavani River in Erod district. Next is Amravati Dam, which is built on Amravati River in Tirupur district. Next is Bagai Dam, which is constructed across Bagai River in Theni district. Next one is Mani Muthar Dam, which is located in Trinul Valley. Next is Kalanai Dam, which is built on Kaveri River in Tanjore district. Now a state of Kerala, where the first dam is Peruchani Dam, which is in Peruchani, Kanyakumari and built on Paralaya River. Second dam is Nair Dam, which is built across Nair River in Tiruvannapuram. Next is Iduki Dam, which is on Priya River in Iduki district. Next dam is Malampuja Dam, which is the largest reservoir in located in Palakkad district. Where in located in Palakkad district. Then Bansura Sagar Dam, which is built on Koramana Thodu River in Vayanar district. Then Valayar Dam, which is constructed on Valayar River in Palakkad district. Then Mulai Periyar Dam, which is came across Periyar River in Iduki district. Then Cheruthani Dam, which is located in Iduki. Now next state is Karnataka, about which we will study the different dams. First one is Basavas Sagar Dam, which is built across Krishna River in Bijapur district. It is Harangi Reservoir Dam, which is built on Harangi River in Kodagu district. And this Harangi River is the tributary of Kaveri. Next dam is Tungvadra Dam, which is also called Pampa Sagar. And this dam is built on Tungavadra River, located in the district. Next one is Alamachi Dam, which is also called Lal Bahadur Sastri Dam, which is constructed across Krishna River in Bijapur district. Next is Krishna Raja Sagar Dam, Kiar Sagar Dam, which is built across Kaveri River in Mysore and the famous and the famous Vrindavan Garden is located here. Next is, next is Malprabha Dam, which is built on Malprabha River in Belgaum. Next one is Santi Sagar Dam, which is located in Karabilchi. And this is the SCI's second largest irrigation tank. Then, then Kabini Dam, which is constructed on Kabini River near Mysore. Then Hemavati Hemavati Dam, which is built on Hemavati River, which is the tributary of Kaveri River and located in Hassan. Then Kadra Dam, which is built on in Uttarakhanda district. After that, Kodasali Dam, which is constructed on Kali River in Uttarakhanda district. Next state is Maharashtra, where first dam is Koina Dam which is built on Koina River in Mahabaleswaram River in Mahabaleswaram. Then Jayakwadi Dam, which is the irrigation project located in Maratwara region. Then Kolkewadi Dam, which is located in Ratnagari district. Then Kodak Vasla Dam, which is built, built on Mutha River. Then Radha Nagri Dam, which is built across Bhagavati River in Radhanagri, then Ujani Dam, which is built, which is also known as Bhima Dam and built on Bhima River in Ujani in Solapur district. Next is, which is called Tanaj Sagar Dam, which is built on Ambi River near Pune, then Mulsi Dam, which is built across Mula River in Pune district. Now a state of Gujarat, first dam is Sardar Sarovar Dam, Sarovar Dam, which is built on Narmada River and this is the world's biggest concrete gravity dam. 
एंड द कैनाल रिलीज फ्रॉम हेयर नर्मदा कैनाल विल बी द लार्जेस्ट इरिगेशन कैनाल इन द वर्ल्ड दिस डैम इज लोकेटेड नियर केवड़िया इन इन नवागाम एंड द स्टेच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी सरदार बल्लभ भाई स्टेच्यू इज लोकेटेड हेयर नेक्स्ट इज उकाई डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन तापी रिवर दिस विच इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट रिजर्वर इन गुजरात आफ्टर सरदार सरोवर धरोई डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन साबरमती रिवर लोकेटेड इन धरोई मेसाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट नेक्स्ट इज दातीवाड़ा डैम विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड अक्रॉस बनास रिवर इन दातीवाड़ा बनासकांठा डिस्ट्रिक्ट देन कडाना डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन माही रिवर इन महिसागर देन मिट्टी डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन मिट्टी रिवर इन कच्छ डिस्ट्रिक्ट आफ्टर दैट वी विल गो थ्रो मध्य प्रदेश स्टेट वेर फर्स्ट डैम इज इंदिरा सागर डैम इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टोरेज इंदिरा सागर डैम इज द इंदिरा सागर डैम इज द लार्जेस्ट रिजर्वायर विच इज बिल्ट ऑन नर्मदा रिवर इन खंडवा डिस्ट्रिक्ट नेक्स्ट इज गांधी सागर डैम विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन चंबल रिवर इन मंदसौर नीमच डिस्ट्रिक्ट नेक्स्ट इज ओमकारेश्वर डैम विच इज बिल इन खंडवा डिस्ट्रिक्ट देन रायघाट डैम राजघाट डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन बेतवा रिवर एंड दिस इज लोकेटेड ऑन द बॉर्डर ऑफ एम पी चंडेरी एंड यूपी बॉर्डर ललितपुर देन बरगई डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन नर्मदा रिवर नेक्स्ट इज बनसागर डैम विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन सोन रिवर इन सर्ड ओल्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ राजस्थान स्टेट वेर फर्स्ट डैम इज जवाहर सागर डैम विच इज बिल्ट अक्रॉस चंबल रिवर इन कोटा डिस्ट्रिक्ट सेकेंड इज बिलासपुर डैम डैम विच इज बिल्ट ऑन बनास रिवर इन टोंक डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ पंजाब स्टेट वेर रंजीत सागर डैम विच इज आल्सो नोन एज थेन डैम विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन रावी रिवर ऑन बॉर्डर ऑफ पंजाब एंड जम्मू कश्मीर सो सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट मेजर डैम्स लोकेटेड इन डिफरेंट स्टेट्स हेयर टू स्टडी वेरियस एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड एग्रीकल्चर इंस्टीट्यूशन द आई सी ए आर एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया हैज सेवेंटी फाइव एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी कंप्राइजिंग सिक्सटी फोर स्टेट एग्रीकल्चरल वेटरनरी हॉर्टिकल्चरल एंड फिशरीज यूनिवर्सिटीज विच आर स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज ICR has four deemed universities like IARI Indian Agriculture Research Institute IVRI Indian Veterinary Research Institute NDRI National Dairy Research Institute and CIFE Central Institute of Fisheries Education There are three central agriculture universities like Central Agriculture University Imphal Dr Rajendra Prasad Central Agriculture University Pusa Samastipur Bihar and third रानी लक्ष्मी बाई सेंट्रल एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी झांसी उत्तर प्रदेश देर आर फोर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज विच आर हैविंग द फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर लाइक बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी विश्व भारती यूनिवर्सिटी एंड नागालैंड यूनिवर्सिटी देर आर फोर डीम्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ आई सी आर फर्स्ट वन इज इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट आई आर आई न्यू दिल्ली Second is Indian Veterinary Research Institute (IVRI), which is in Ajit Nagar, Bareilly, Uttar Pradesh. Third is National Dairy Research Institute (NDRI), Karnal, Haryana. And fourth is Central Institute of Fisheries Education (CIFE), Mumbai, Maharashtra. Now we will go through various agriculture universities and institutes of our country. First one is Indian Agriculture Research Institute (IARI), which is located in Delhi. Second states of Uttarakhand, there are two universities. First one is J. V. Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar, which is the first agriculture university of India, and it was established in 1960. Third is Veer Chand Singh Garhwali Uttarakhand University of Horticulture and Forestry. located in garhwal uttarakhand now the universities of uttar pradesh fourth is 
चंद्रशेखर आजाद यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कानपुर उत्तर प्रदेश फिफ्थ सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मोदीपुरम मेरठ उत्तर प्रदेश सिक्स आचार्य नरेंद्र देवा यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अयोध्या फैजाबाद उत्तर प्रदेश सेवंथ इज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेस बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी वाराणसी उत्तर प्रदेश एट्थ इज सेम हिंग बॉटम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंसेस नैनी इलाहाबाद उत्तर प्रदेश नाइन्थ इज बांदा यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बांदा उत्तर प्रदेश एंड टेंथ इज रानी लक्ष्मीबाई सेंट्रल एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी झांसी उत्तर प्रदेश नवोदय यूनिवर्सिटीज इन बिहार इलेवंथ इज डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद सेंट्रल एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी पूर्वस्तीपुर बिहार एंड ट्वेल्थ बिहार एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी सबौर भागलपुर बिहार थर्टींथ इज बिरसा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी कांके रांची झारखंड फोर्टींथ इज पंजाब एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी पीएयू लुधियाना पंजाब फिफ्टींथ इज चौधरी चरण सिंह हरियाणा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी हिसार हरियाणा नवोदय यूनिवर्सिटीज इन हिमाचल प्रदेश सिक्सटीन इज डॉक्टर यशवंत सिंह परमार यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर एंड फॉरेस्ट्री सोलन हिमाचल प्रदेश सेवनटीन इज चौधरी श्रवण कुमार हिमाचल प्रदेश एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी पालमपुर हिमाचल प्रदेश नवोदय एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एटीन इज जवाहरलाल नेहरू कृषि विश्वविद्यालय जे एन के बी बी जबलपुर मध्य प्रदेश नाइनटीन इज राजमाता विजय राजे सिंधिया कृषि विश्वविद्यालय ग्वालियर मध्य प्रदेश ट्वेंटी एथ इज इंदिरा गांधी कृषि विश्वविद्यालय रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ नाउ एग्रीकल्चर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज इन राजस्थान ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट इज स्वामी केशवानंद राजस्थान एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी बीकानेर राजस्थान ट्वेंटी सेकेंड महाराणा प्रताप यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी उदयपुर राजस्थान ट्वेंटी थर्ड इज एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी जोधपुर राजस्थान ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा राजस्थान ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ श्री करण नरेंद्र एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी एस के एन आई यू पबनेर राजस्थान ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज सेंट्रल एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी लम्फेलपैट इम्फाल मणिपुर एंड ट्वेंटी सेवंथ आसाम एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी बोरभेटा जोरहट आसाम ट्वेंटी एट्थ इज तमिलनाडु एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी कोयम्बटूर तमिलनाडु ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ केरला एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी बलिनीकारा थ्रिसूर केरला थर्टी एथ इज उड़ीसा यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भुवनेश्वर उड़ीसा नवोद यूनिवर्सिटीज इन गुजरात थर्टी फर्स्ट इज आनंद एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी आनंद गुजरात थर्टी टू सरदार कृषि नगर दांतीवाड़ा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी दांतीवाड़ा गुजरात थर्टी थ्री जूनागढ़ एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी जूनागढ़ गुजरात एंड थर्टी फोर्थ इज नवसारी एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी नवसारी गुजरात नेक्स्ट इज थर्टी फिफ्थ आचार्य इंजी रंगा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी गुंटूर आंध्र प्रदेश थर्टी सिक्स इज प्रोफेसर जयशंकर तेलंगाना स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी राजेंद्र नगर हैदराबाद तेलंगाना अर्लियर इंजी रंगा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी वाज इन हैदराबाद आफ्टर द बाइफर्केशन ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश से तेलंगाना इट वाज शिफ्टेड टू गुंटूर एंड द सेम कैंपस वाज रीनेम्ड एज जयशंकर तेलंगाना स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी राजेंद्र नगर हैदराबाद थर्टी सेवंथ इज श्री कोंडा लक्ष्मण तेलंगाना स्टेट हॉर्टिकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी बडवेल हैदराबाद तेलंगाना स्टेट एंड नाउ एग्रीकल्चर इंस्टीट्यूट इन महाराष्ट्र थर्टी एट्थ इज डॉक्टर बाला साहेब सावंत कोकन कृषि विद्यापीठ दपोली रत्नागिरी महाराष्ट्र थर्टी नाइन्थ इज महात्मा फुले कृषि विद्यापीठ राहुरी महाराष्ट्र फोर्टी एथ इज वसंत राव नायक मराठवाड़ा कृषि विद्यापीठ परभनी महाराष्ट्र एंड फोर्टी वन इज डॉक्टर पंजाब राव देशमुख कृषि विद्यापीठ पी अकोला महाराष्ट्र नव यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ कर्नाटका फोर्टी टू इज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेस बंगलोर कर्नाटका फोर्टी थ्री यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेस धारवाड़ कर्नाटका फोर्टी फोर्थ 
University of Agriculture Sciences, Raichur, Karnataka. 45th University of Horticultural Sciences, Bagalkot, Karnataka. 46th is University of Agriculture and Horticultural Sciences, Simoga, Karnataka. Next is 47th Uttar Banga Krishi Vishwadhyaya, Kuch Bihar, West Bengal. And 48th Vidhan Chandra Krishi Vishwadhyaya, Nadia, West Bengal. 49th is Sere Kashmir University of Agriculture Sciences and Technology, Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. And 50th Dr. Y.S. Rajasekharadi Horticulture University, Tadepalli Gudam, West Godavari District, Andhra Pradesh. So this presentation was all about agriculture GK part 2 consisting of various topics. Hope this will be useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given you my YouTube channel details, Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit that channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.